I've been away for a little bit because I really haven't heard any messages from the Lord when I was in prayer, my secret place, praying to Him. And then I seen today on a couple of YouTube videos that I uh, subscribe to, uh, some of the sisters have said the same thing. So I think the Lord is preparing us um, to move things up a notch because the time of his coming is getting very close. And the Lord um, has really been heavy on my heart. You know, I almost feel like he's distant and it kind of hurts, you know, when when I'm so used to feeling him close and then, you know, it's like, Lord, are, are you there? You know, I'm, why can't I feel you with me? So I get in the word more and I pray and yes, I do hear from him, but it, um, he's having a very heavy heart and his mind right now is for us to focus on reaping a harvest for him. He's calling out to those um, the call to be laborers in the field. So that's why I'm calling this one, Pray Ye the Lord of the Harvest, which is also the beginning of a verse. Matthew 9, 38. Pray ye the Lord of the harvest, that he will send for laborers into his harvest. Children, what do ye while waiting for my return? Do ye know the harvest is near? What preparations do ye lack thereof? Children, you are ready. Many know not what awaits those unaware of the evil to befall in the split second. And he went like this. I heard the one, two, three, split second. The old serpent is ready to spring and strike fear like as a cobra does when it sinks its venomous fangs. Oh, so quickly it strikes and springs back, its cold eyes calculating the moment its victim succumbs to the poison. There is time to reap my harvest. I see my laborers are ready for me, but don't waste another moment on yourself. You have repented. You have been baptized. Now go and share my gospel, for many have not heard my call. The enemy has occupied their eyes and ears. Their ears are plugged up and their minds plugged into musical fornication. Their eyes are glued to images Idle hands, busy on idle entertainment. Technology is a curse on my children. Families are disrupted. Movies, games, chatter occupy their thoughts and time. Time away from me. I am foreign to them, but they know the enemy well. Who feeds them darkness. They embrace sorcery violence, evil spirits, emulating and idolizing the very things of hell. Those are the ones who need me desperately, husbands and wives seeking their perfect mate. How? How do they ask? How? How do you ask? They will not find me in church buildings. Only a few exist that truly worship me in spirit and in truth. Put the truth in their hands. Put the truth where it may be found. I lead the way. You plant the seed. My spirit will quicken their hearts to seek and find me. Sow the seeds and you will reap blessings. Sow the seeds and be given your heart's desire. I am a rewarder of those who diligently Gently serve me. After he told me that, I am a rewarder of those who diligently serve me. He told me to go to my Bible. And I opened it up to Matthew 28. So I started reading it. 
And I found in verses 18 through 20, And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So, just as his disciples were ready, you know, he worked with them for three years and then um, he was crucified and he resurrected. And when he came back to be with them, to fill them with the Holy Spirit, and he told them, you are ready, go, go and preach the gospel. And we're supposed to tell everyone to repent repent and be baptized and then they go out and they do the same so those who know they are the bride of Christ there is nothing more to do you are his apostle you are a disciple you are his laborer now you must go out into the fields and share the truth of the gospel with others because there's so many people that are just um, locked up in their own little world. Technology is a blessing because uh, I learned so much when the Lord called me and told me I needed to be baptized. That thought had never occurred to me that I should do that because I was baptized when I was a baby in the Catholic Church. So when I went on the internet, I just found so much information about um, baptism in the water and um, being baptized in the Holy Spirit. So that really helped me to grow spiritually in a very short time. And I know a lot of you... Um, are in the same situation where you just have known the Lord for just a few years and you're you're an apostle now you can go out and um, whatever way the Lord is telling you how to either talk to people what I do is um, you know people are always in a rush you know sometimes if I'm somewhere where I'm um, can talk to someone you know I can just ask them if they know the Lord but most people just kind of look at you funny. So what I like to do, I have these little booklets. I just put an order in for these two particular versions. These are called Little Bibles. And um, this one is called The King is Coming. And in it, it has um, Bible verses. And it kind of leads the person reading it into um, asking the Lord to come into their heart. You can, I just hand these to people. I leave them. Like today, I had to go out of town to see the doctor. So I just put one in the elevator floor. Um, I use the bathroom. So I put one of these, um, like where the toilet paper is, just tucked it in. So whoever was sitting there, they would just see it. And um, where else? Oh, I had to go to the post office. So I just, as I was walking out, I just put one on the counter and walked away. I give them out to drive up cashiers. I, I tuck them in a little space. Like if I'm at the ATM, you know, there's like a little nook or cranny. I can just stick it in there. Um, if I go out to eat dinner, I'll leave it with a tip. So I got this one. The king is coming. And then on the back it says, and if I go, oops. And the back says, and if I go, and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that I that where I am there ye may be also and I ordered 300 of those and then I got this one is a really good one I'm gonna give them to kids and teenagers called Bible verses for children but it's really simplistic and it tells them about Jesus about sin asking the Lord into their heart and then it also has on the back, I go to prepare a place for you. And on the inside covers, because it's um, blank, I write in there, sometimes I write something like, um, 
Did you know Jesus is coming soon? He's coming for his bride. Every woman, man, and child who loves and obeys the Lord will be taken up to heaven. Read this booklet and find out how you can go too. And then on the back side, there's a cover that's empty here. I write, um, those who are left behind will suffer great tribulation from the Antichrist and 666, heaven is real and so is hell. Jesus is waiting. Uh, come to him today. And then I'll put Luke uh, 15, 15, 10 so they can look that up in the Bible. And that one verse is, um, likewise I say unto you that the even in the presence of the angels of God, there is rejoicing over one sinner that repents. That's beautiful. So if they do accept the Lord as their Savior, and then they turn and read that in the Bible, or they can look it up online, and then they'll read that. You know, what can make your heart just fill with joy to know that the angels are rejoicing in heaven when your name is written in the book of life? So I'm going to end here. Then, um, then the Lord, after I wrote that verse of Matthew 28, then he told me to go Matthew 24. And then I thought, wow, I was like, that's the chapter about when the disciples asked Jesus, how would they know when, or what signs would they know to see when he's coming back again? So I learned something um, when I was reading this. So I started reading it, and I... Verse 14 struck out, and it says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So, once every person on this earth hears about the gospel, you know, there's missionaries, um, there's people that are doing YouTube videos, so people are watching those. There are Christian networks that are um, transmitted in different countries, foreign countries. So through technology, the, the word of the gospel is being spread. And I hope that, um, that you're going to start reaching out to the people in your town. Or just leaving these uh, gospel tracts where they can be found. I love these little books. They, they fit in a Bible. I was blessed with um, a gift from my mother. She sent me money for my wedding anniversary. And I had asked the Lord, you know, to help me. And then if he did, I was going to use some of that money to put into his kingdom. So that's why I'm buying these little these little Bibles. Uh, I'm spending forty dollars on five hundred. I get two hundred of the ones for the children, and then three hundred of the the King is coming. And I just ask the Lord, Lord, just I want you to come soon, but can I have some time so I can pass these out and give them away before you come? So I hope that order comes in really soon. I mailed it today. Go online and just put free gospel tracts. And you can print them. If you got a printer at home, print them off. Or if you like to talk to people, just talk to people. You know, you don't have to, like, like talk to hundreds of people. Even if you just reach out to one person. One person. What a beautiful thing. If you can just do one. The, the fields are ripe. Bring them in to the Lord. God bless you. Praise to God. He's coming. And I need to get those um, those things handed out really soon. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So God bless you. I love you. I'll see you in heaven. And uh, i like to hear back from you about if you um, go out and share the gospel too. Okay, good night.